on this episode of Never Forgotten the Podcast. It all began with a captain named Christopher Billup. After serving the Royal Navy, he came to America in 1674. He was granted 932 acres on the southernmost tip of Staten Island. According to archaeological evidence, around 1895 shows that the Raritan band of the Lenape camped in this area and used the aerial as a burial ground that they call Burial Ridge. In 1677, Captain Billup went to Newcastle on the Delaware River where he commanded the local garrison. Thomas Dongan was the governor of New York and he returned to Staten Island and became active in local government. He then stretched the property of the Conference House Park to 1,600 acres. It is not known an official date when the Manor House was built, but if you look at an old map, it shows the Conference House on the same spot before 1680. The house was passed down to his great-grandson, Christopher Billum, and led Loyalist forces against the American Revolution. On September 11, 1776, Captain Billup hosted an informal diplomatic conference aimed at finding an early end of the American Revolution. Lord Howe, who was a commander-in-chief for the British, arranged to meet with what is known today as the Staten Island Peace Conference, alongside Benjamin Franklin, John Adams, and a gentleman named Edward Rutledge. They rode over from the Patriot-held Perth Amboy, New Jersey. The meeting was documented that it lasted for three hours, and it ended with the Americans declining the diplomatically handcuffed Howe's offer, leading to another seven years of conflict. Originally, it was called Billups Point. Another fascinating fact about this location was that there was a raid on October 25, 1779, known as the Simcoe's Raids, by a New Jerseyan John Graves Simcoe, who was the leader of the Tory unit in the Queen's Rangers. There was a battle in boats, which were appointed to be at Billups Point, passed around 12 o'clock at night, and they did not arrive until 3 in the morning. The regiments at Amboy received orders to strike their tents and send them with their baggage to the water side. Those on the Staten Island side had orders to leave their standings and be completed by 8 in the evening to Billups Point. After the seas of the hostiles and British withdrawal from their former colonies, the house was confiscated by the state of New York. There was no compensation to any of the Billup family but later they received some form of compensation from the British government. After the Revolutionary War, most of the Billup family had relocated up to north to Canada. 100 years after the conference house was used as a hotel and a rat poison factory, it was abandoned and vandalized. In 1901, Assembly Man Na Van Name from Richmond County introduced a bill to require the house and create it for historic preservation. New York City had acquired the home in 1926 and the home was refurbished in 1937 and became a National Historic Landmark in 1966. The home offers many events throughout the year and is available for tours via appointment. Thanks for listening to the Never Forgotten Podcast. I'm Vinny Langdon, and I hope you learned something new. And also, be sure to subscribe to the Vinny Langdon Show YouTube channel for more historical videos and lessons about the Forgotten Borough, Staten Island.